The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. Then they left their nets and followed him. He walked along a little farther and saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in a boat mending their nets. Then he called them. So they left their father in the boat along with the hired men and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. The way to let God in is to let go. The Gospel of the day is the beautiful presentation of the first disciples of Jesus who made the great decision to let go in order to follow Jesus. The Gospel presents Jesus entering into the ordinary situations of the people and inviting them to be partakers of the extraordinary and effervescent works of the kingdom. The Gospel says, Passing along by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, the brother of Simon, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen very ordinary people. And going on a little further, he saw James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were in their boat mending the nets. Very ordinary people. And when they were being called by Jesus, they let go everything what they had and followed Jesus. Simon, Andrew, James, and John would, ha would have begun their day just like any other day, hoping for a good catch. But unfortunately, they ended up without much to carry back home. But Divine Providence had a special day in store for them. Jesus encounters these people on a regular and ordinary day, only to convert that day to a very special day of blessing and grace. Each of us most probably begin our day just like any other regular days with mundane tasks, regular errands, and similar schedules. But if we are open, and willing to allow the Lord to enter into our lives, each day can become a very special day of blessing and grace. Yes, each day can indeed become the day that the Lord has made. If we remain open to God's voice and cooperate with His merciful grace in our lives, then we see Lord of miracles in our lives. Simon, Andrew, James, and John, the first disciples, responded to the call of the Lord and they had their lives transformed. The Lord wishes to work out the same transformation in our lives as well. But for this, we need to let go Yes, we need to let go in order to let God in and to work beautiful miracles in our lives.
let go of our tendencies to be attached to the material things and giving priority only to the worldly things makes us a big block or wall in front of us. Instead, focus more on the spiritual and eternal realities of life. Let go of our egoist attitudes. Instead, accommodate and extend God's love to the people with the virtues of forgiveness, humility, and acceptance. Let go of our bad habits and sinful inclination. Instead, put on vestments of holiness and purity of life. The Lord wishes to work in our lives, and He desires to walk into our ordinary lives, offers us the invitation to be the partakers of the extraordinary and effervescent works of the kingdom. So shall we let go so that we can let God in. Regina Jenny, let her reign, alleluia. Qui aque menu isti portare, alleluia. Resurrexit sicut dixit.